Hey yo folks, what's going on? Welcome back to the Fishing Norm YouTube channel. Comment these popping up down below. So guys, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, leave a comment down below this video for your chance to be next video's comment of the day. As you guys know, I've been to a lot of fishing tackle stores in my life, but today, hey, what's up? I'm sorry. You're good, you're good. I actually watch your YouTube channel. Oh, hey, what's up, man? Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> yeah, it's crazy because it's our last day Holy here in Texas, God. so you ran into us on a good day. <laughs> You have no idea how, <laughs> how much this made my day. That's awesome. I am super excited to post Dude. on my Facebook that I got to meet you today. It's awesome meeting you too, bro. Here, here. This is one of my favorites, man, the clutch. Yeah. I, I'm so glad I, I got to see you on your last day in Texas and yeah. this whole thing is made Dude, every, my day. everything happens for a reason, bro. That's crazy. So of much, course, man. I'm so glad I got to Dude, it was, you. it was so nice meeting you too. Well, guys, it is the last day in Texas and I don't have Cabela's anywhere near me. We were driving by and we saw it. So what I figure we do, we bring back the old fashioned fishing challenges. We don't have Bass Pro Shops Academy, Dick Sporting Goods, all those places, Walmart before. Just a hundred dollar budget fishing challenge. We go inside, we explore, see what they have, and then uh, yeah, go catch some big fish on whatever we buy. So this Cabela's is literally, from the outside, it looks to be about 10 times as big as my Bass Pro Shops at home. I didn't know Cabela's was this big. I don't know if this is all Cabela's or if this is just the Texas Cabela's. Let me know down below, guys. 5,000 likes, we'll come back into Cabela's again and do whatever challenge the top comment is. But I'm ready to go inside Yakpack. You ready to go inside and see what uh, Cabela's has to offer? Dude, this place is so freaking big. I was just standing <laughs> here looking at it like... It looks that. like a whole shopping mall. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, like a miniature <laughs> shopping mall. That's crazy. Everything's bigger. You've never been at Cabela's either, never, right? Never. Not Dang. till today. Not till today. All right. Yakfag was also saying this too. I don't know if Bass Pro Shops owns Cabela's or Cabela's owns Bass Pro Shops. Yeah, I don't remember which one I it is. I have no clue how it works. Also, guys, today, just randomly, by the way, we're headed back. I don't know if we're going to go on the boat today. Uh, but we do need to put some use into the boat and we plan on doing that a lot uh, this coming week too So subscribe if you guys are excited for boat videos ready to go in yeah, and uh, and check out Cabela's. Let's go Stoked. So guys before you even walk into the store the whole front of the place is covered in just bass boats man I mean they got trackers which means that they're somehow associated with Bass Pro Shops I'm thinking because trackers like a Bass Pro Shop owned boat if that makes any sense, but Dude, look at all these, man. It feels like we're pulling up to a fishing tournament. They don't know, even have right? these in front of Bass Pro Shops, dude. At least mine, I've never seen this many bass boats in front of a fishing store before. This just got me like really excited to go inside. It might be hard to only spend $100 when you go tackle shopping. Sometimes you have a budget, you might go a little bit under or over. I'm excited, first Cabela's ever. <laughs> Alright guys, we are here inside of Cabela's. This place is massive, way more open than a Bass Pro Shop. It's my best way to explain it. I don't even know if they have a fish tank. I hear a waterfall behind me. Should be a lot of fun. We gotta find the fishing section. There's a ton of bass boats in here too, look. There's more bass boats inside. There's probably like 50 bass boats in here. It's crazy, but all I'm seeing is, oh, fishing. I see fishing rods, let's go. So guys, there's a ton of rainbow trout here in the pond, or at least what I think is rainbow trout. I've caught like one in my whole entire life in Wisconsin and I've never walked into a fishing store before where you can just see them. I think these things are like super tough to keep alive because they need current and uh, yeah, there's just a whole pond full of them. So Texas has not let me down once again. We're here at the fishing section and uh, it's massive. Every time I think a fishing store can't get bigger around here, they just, they never cease to amaze me. We're gonna try to spend only a hundred bucks in here for rod, reel, line, and lures to catch big fish today. Let's get started, I guess. <laughs> Guys, we're headed back to uh, to Florida. I hope they're still on beds. Yakpack actually just caught yesterday a 7-1 on a bed on the Bandito bug. So we're gonna pick some of these up as part of our challenge. Six bucks for these bad girls. And uh, I love white for the for the bed fishing, even though it doesn't really matter what color you throw. It just makes it a little bit easier to see when they uh, yeah. when they pick up your lure. Let's try to find, dude, there's another fish tank with huge bass over there. Do you not see yes. that big bass? It's like a big circle. Oh my God. <laughs> let's go, let's football. go. Guys, this video might be all over the place. I've never been in here before. So um, we're exploring. I, I apologize. It's just an exploring vlog with Norm and Yakpack. There's a whole freshwater aquarium. There's no way every Cabela's is like this. This has to be like the Cabela's, guys. Let me know which location is like the best. If every Cabela's is like this, Cabela's is like the craziest fishing store of all time. This is ridiculous, man. So there's redfish in here too, and bass. It's like brackish water, so saltwater fish and freshwater fish can both live in them. Yeah, look at that, man. That's a redfish right there. Those things are mean. Those are fun yeah. to catch. Yo! <laughs> That's a 50 pound catfish, easy. At least. That thing is huge. 
This might be the coolest fish tank I've ever seen. 100% the coolest fish tank I've ever seen in a fishing store before. Yeah. Bro, look at that guard! Oh my that gosh! That is an alligator guard right there. That is an actual <laughs> dinosaur. All three of them. I didn't even know they got that big, man. Florida seems kind of lame compared to here. This place is crazy. Let's go look at the tackle. We're going to try to break it apart very quickly because there's about 30 aisles of fishing gear in here. We don't we don't need 30 aisles worth of fishing stuff to go catch fish. So let's just find our favorites. Get this budget challenge started. Oh, look at this. Oh, Bellas has their own brand, guys, just like Bass Pro Shops and all that stuff. And uh, actually, Yakpack's going to be doing a video on Cabela's brand only. Good news is we found that we didn't know if they had them or not. And they actually Perfect. make Cabela's brand stuff. I might even, because we have a hundred bucks to spend, just buy one just for the sake of this video, just to test them out, because I can't test them out anywhere else. So if it's a Cabela's challenge, might as well get so some Cabela's lures. So they have Bass Pro as well. So oh. look at this, my assumption, every Bass Pro that I've been to, they don't have Cabela's stuff, but they do. So I think Bass Pro might own Cabela's. I think that's that how it went down. Sense, yeah. I'm pretty, I'm yeah. like 90% positive. That makes sense. Should we get some Cabela's swim baits? I like this. Shad Keller, can't go wrong, for $2.99. We got a lot of swim baits in there. And normally when you go with like the brand of the store, it's the cheapest. So. Good thing I don't live in Texas, guys. In Florida, we have like limited options. But if I lived here, we'll just leave it at that. We'll just, we'll just keep so I see swimmer. Guys, I will get some of these, but I, I currently have about 70 packs of them. So we'll be, we'll be good for now. So they do have, did you find something cool? No, I've lost you. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to find you. <laughs> this place is kind of big. Yeah. They have uh, they have lizards and the biggest lizard selection I've seen in my whole entire life. So that means we're gonna go and get some lizards because it is springtime and my favorite time to throw lizards, March and April. And then if you live like north, put that a month behind. So April and May, Yeah. that would be the time that I would throw lizards if you guys were up there. But mossy pumpkin, a color I've never seen before, which kind of looks like green pumpkin with gold flakes in it. A little bit of moss too. A little bit of moss. That's part of the secret <laughs> formula, though. We weren't supposed to say that. Yeah. <laughs> it's only $2.99. So there's, we have a lot of things already for not too much money. Guys, while I'm here, too, I'm also looking for stuff I can't get anywhere else. So that's kind of going to be a part of the $100 budget challenge, but also stuff I think if you came into Cabela's with 100 bucks, would be an awesome way to spend your money. So I'm going to keep on looking. So guys, we just asked a Cabela's employee if they have any branded like Cabela's rod and reel combos because in spirit of the Cabela's fishing challenge, we want to use like mainly Cabela's stuff and they actually only have like one rod and reel combo here and it just so happens to be a micro light. So I guess this fishing challenge got even more interesting, but for 40 bucks, $39.99, we got the Crappie Max and it has Bass Pro Shops label on it too. So I think it's like a Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's rod and reel. It has a Bass Pro Shop sticker, but yeah, this should be a ton of fun to catch big bass on because it really is one of the smallest rod and reels I will have used, and it's like going to be the highest quality one I've used as well. That should be a lot of fun. We got 40, 55, we maybe have 40 more dollars to spend in here, and trust me, there's a lot of things to spend our money on. So there's a whole aisle for line. This is like the biggest fishing line aisle I've ever seen. Normally, there's like, it probably end like right here, would be all the line that even Bass Pro Shops has. And now we got a ton of line to choose from. And I don't know what to put on this thing, but I'm assuming something light, maybe like eight pound fluorocarbon. 50 pound, baby. 50 uh, that's, pound. That's exactly what that's we what need. That's what you need, man. It's 130 bucks. No, this is $69. Look at that. That one's $130 for this pool. Yeah, it's it's not that thick, you know. Uh, so a lot of times fish like it thick. So, you I'm know, gonna, I think we actually probably need a little bit more line. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, probably that will probably be yeah, that'll the do trick. It. That'll do it. Who has ever bought this much line before? This is a serious question. You know how many reels you have to have to use all this line? All Pro of them. Probably like 800 reels. And that's, I don't know, that's a all lot of line. Them. So Cabela's makes their own brand wine with Bass Pro Shops that I've never seen before. We're going 10 pound to put on this thing. Maybe it just has such a small spool that you need like light line. 10 might be too heavy, but I'd rather not break off on big bass like we did in the, uh, the other ice fishing video. So this is $9. So we got $20 more to spend. Yakpack, what should we spend our money on? I think you need a hard bait. I do. I think you need a hard bait. Let's go find one. Yeah, let's do it. So guys, we're looking at the rattle traps right now and there's the biggest selection I've ever seen or the most colors I've ever seen. So we got to try a new color today. Look at that. Yo, that's crazy. Are you kidding? A blue chrome with a red eye. Yeah, blue chrome I've black. I've never seen that color no. before. Also that, that color, that, haven't I seen that before. Thank you much. 
Okay. So for seven bucks, guys, I also found Bass Pro oh Shops God. Goldfish, <laughs> and we're, we're gonna run it. We got money to spend. We gotta get at least a couple cool lures that we've never used before at uh, you did at catch, Cabela's. So you did catch like a five pounder in Orlando on a goldfish, something, didn't you? Yeah, like a soft plastic yeah, fluke. Yeah, I the thought goldfish. so. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. Is that not a sick color? Oh my gosh. Best rattle trap selection, hands down. And guys, my favorite lure recently, it's probably gonna be the last one to hit us to $100, has been the uh, the Kraken Craw. So we're gonna go ahead and go with the, I don't think I have too many in the California Craw color. So for six bucks, we got ourselves some California Craws. If you guys want to save 10% on Fishing with Norm, on Fishing with Norm, on GuggenSquad.com, use code Fishing with Norm, and uh, you guys can save some money on everything on the, uh, on the website, it'll be linked down. Below. All right, we got everything we need. Spent a hundred bucks. About, we're gonna go check this stuff out. Probably head back to Tallahassee, or maybe we're, we're going to Pensacola. I don't know. We're gonna drive like 10 hours somewhere and catch some fish on all this stuff. Let's go. All right, guys, we just rolled up to the pond. We're back in Tallahassee, uh, no longer in Texas. It's a, a solo rip mission today. I got the uh, the Cabela's combo tied on with the, the old baby bandito bug in the white color. I'm hoping I can find my beds. There's a school of like 20 bass right here. Hold up, guys. Oh my gosh, they're all babies, but there's like 20 of them swimming. What in the world? Set my drag real quick. We've made that mistake one too many times with new combos. There's so many fish right there. What are they doing? I don't know if we're in pre-spawn, Post spawn or in spawn. I haven't fished in Tallahassee in oh they're looking at it. In two weeks, I think. We've been in Texas. We went to Central Florida. We've been all over, guys. This might be an interesting day if we can sight fish some some bass. Alright guys, we're gonna start walking and looking for beds, but there is a lot of fish swimming in the bank. Guys, the toughest part about this challenge definitely not gonna be the lures. But the uh, the rod and reel, like setting the hook with this, it's super super flimsy. It's a it's actually a crappie max for those of you guys wondering. So and I don't think we're gonna catch any crappie today. Not the targeted species. I see beds here, guys. I don't know if they're off of them. They probably should be. It's been uh it's been two weeks since I last saw one on a bed. Watch this. Yo. Got him! Got him! We're tight. That was epic on the bandita bug right when it hit the water. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to fight them. It's a good bass too. It's a good bass. It's a solid bass. Oh my gosh. I can't even bring them in, man. Here, we got to tighten the drag, guys. Try to tighten the drag. Oh my gosh. Please stay on, please stay on, please. I got them hooked in the tail? What is going on? Don't get off, don't get off, please. This might be the weirdest fish catch I've ever had. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys, what a solid bass. I hooked him in the tail. What? He swiped at it and uh, had it in the mouth at one point. I like watched him eat it. But that's a solid like two something pounder, like big fish for the tiny rod. That fight was so much fun. Sorry, buddy, I didn't mean to hook you in the tail. Guys, feels great to be back in my home city. Look at that dude, super skinny. Probably a, uh, a post-spawn fish if I had to guess. Yeah, he, uh, he looks all spawned out, a little skinny, but. Boom, there we go. Oh my gosh, I about fell backwards in the water. I didn't know I was standing that close. All right, buddy, thank you. Thank you for the fight, that was epic. There she goes. Feels good to be back after two weeks. Only here for five minutes or so. They're swimming the bank like really hardcore, more than I've ever seen it before. So this should be a, uh, a good day. I'm just glad I hooked that fish. That was a super lucky fish catch. I don't think I've ever hooked a fish in the tail before. Yeah, for real, for real. Yeah, so much. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he came off. No, is he still on? He's off. Bro, he ate a top water. Oh my gosh. You guys, there's so much of this pollen just pushed on the bank over here and they're hiding under it. And I'm bringing this bandito bug above them on top and they're just munching at top water. Man, is it top water season already? Shoot, let's get back in there. He might eat it again, man. I don't know. Probably not, but it'd be cool. Oh, I would have caught that fish if I had like a normal rod, guys. I should have like spent my budget on an actual fishing rod and not a little flimsy micro light, but it just makes it more fun, I guess. Oh, heads up. <laughs> guys, why does it smell so bad out here? It's never smelt this way before. How does a pond just all of a sudden smell like sewage? Somebody definitely dumped something in here. This is, it's making the bass aggressive and eat top water. It's weird. I don't think they're on beds anymore though. I'm so mad I missed bedding season, guys. I've just been all, all over the United States, you know, fishing and whatnot a lot for my channel a lot for other channels and i think i miss like hardcore bedding season in tallahassee but it's all right 
Oh, big wake behind it. No. Keep on getting doo-doo stuck on it. So I'm walking a little fast, but we might go back and walk around. Oh, there's so many bass right there. They're all micro though. It's like 80 of them. What are they all doing? They're all like one eighth of a pound though, guys, but there's a lot of bass. I've never seen this many fish in here before. I think even the baby bandito bug is too big for them. <laughs> all right, we're gonna look for beds, guys. And then I'm gonna come back around. I bet these guys will be, oh, there's like a hundred bass right here. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that wake. Oh, that was epic. Oh my gosh, he slammed it. <laughs> Holy cow. Get up here, yes. <laughs> Holy, oh my gosh. Look at how post-spawn this bass is, guys. These are some of the skinniest bass I've ever ate. And I was just swimming it along this, uh, this little wall right here. And a lot of times, it's a good idea, like bass will push bait up against any type of like wall and any lake or pond like this, whether it be, you know, a cement wall like this, or even if it's like a grass ledge. Ledges are always a really good place to fish because, because bass will push like all their bait up against something where they can make it easier for them to attack them. So it's a good little spot right here on the edge of the wall. Just reel the bandito bug. I'm not even hopping it. I'm just steady reeling it. And I think they're in post spawn, which means they're, uh, you know, they're eating a lot. They've been on beds. They're hungry because they haven't been eating for the past few weeks. They're just actively feeding right now. And it's so much fun on the combo. I just got hit again. Oh my gosh, man. I watched them eat it. It's so crazy with the white bandito bug. You can like, you can just see it get munched. Like that, like that. There we go. I don't know how big it is. Okay. <laughs> Guys, we just left this fish on the beds and boom, got ourselves another fish swimming. The bandito bug, yeet. <laughs> that is so much fun. Oh. The micro combo is so much more harder to use, but it makes it so much more rewarding. And uh, boom, that was fish number three. Perfect hook set, little one pounder. That's actually a healthy fish, unlike the other two I caught were very anorexic. So this one's been eating good. See you, bud. There's two of them there, but they're just so loosely locked. I don't know if they've been caught before because this spot is pretty well known. But guys, this combo though, I mean, for 40 bucks, it's all right. You know, I, we're using it for something it's not made for. It's made for crappie fishing, and we're using it for bass. It is, it's doing decent. You know, it's not meant to throw these <laughs> these rigs around, but it sure does make it a fun fishing trip. Yeah, I kind of wish I would have bought a bait caster or actual spinning combo, but we're getting the job done. I don't like catching fish without a little bit of a challenge. Yeet! I just like swim the bandito bug super fast. See if I can get some reaction strikes, guys. Sometimes it's better to reel it fast than slower, which is weird, but sometimes it just depends on what the fish are on. If they're on a reaction bite, you know, obviously you want to swim it faster. If they're not, then slow it down. But there's a lot of these fish. I don't think I would have caught any of these fish if I wasn't reeling it fast. If I would have just hopped it by them, and they looked at it for too long, but it's all about that reaction strike, especially in the post spawn. Guys, it's been like 30 minutes since I walked this part and caught that one topwater fish that we're gonna see. If uh, I can do it again, because I didn't miss a fish on this stretch, which made me want to cry. Got him. We're tight. Oh my gosh, that was epic. Like, <laughs> every single bite that I've had, I can just watch it happen. And oh my, I would be able to reel this fish in so quick if it wasn't for the micro rod. I'm cranking as quick as I can, guys. And he is tugging. We got to land this thing. Come here, buddy. Come here. Yes! <laughs> Guys, I would highly recommend if you're using your normal bass combos, even though it's a little bit more tough, it's so much more rewarding to just pull in like little one, one and changes like uh, like this dude right here. Yes. We let him sit for 30 minutes, came back to him, and uh, same fish, I think, probably came up and munched it. Solid guy. Peace. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for today's video. We ended up catching five fish, uh, had a great time in Cabela's. Like, what an epic store. I wish we had some here around Florida. I don't really know why we don't. But uh, yeah, guys, leave a like on this video if you want me to go back to Cabela's like the next time I'm in Texas. Do a little challenge there. Comment down below like what we should even do at Cabela's because there's so much in there. I feel like we can do so many cool like little challenges and stuff. But successful fishing day. I'm pumped. We had a great time with the, with the old white bandita bug and the micro fishing combo. Uh, we caught five fish, man. You can't ask for a better day than that. And uh, my, my GoPro battery died, which means that's the end of today's video. Until the next one, guys. Fish bump. I'm out of here.